Albert Einstein is known for many things. The discovery of the theories of relativity, the famous formula E equals MC squared, a formula that opened the door for the creation of the atomic bomb. What's not so well known was that he was behind the effort that urged Franklin Delano Roosevelt to build the bomb. In December of 1932, Albert Einstein left Germany for the United States. At the time, he was 53 years old and one of the most recognizable men on the planet. The smartest man in the world. He had revolutionized physics in a way nobody had before and nobody has since. A month after his departure, the Nazis came to power in Germany. Einstein never returned to his homeland. In 1935, he was granted permanent residency in the United States, and five years later became a citizen. By 1940, his best work in physics was behind him, but his work in American and world politics was just beginning. Born in Germany in 1879, the story of young Einstein growing up is legendary. To his parents and teachers, he was quite ordinary. Undistinguished in school, he earned only mediocre grades in physics and mathematics. But in reality, he was just bored with the mindless and mechanical method of learning that school presented him. By the age of 16, he was already performing the thought experiments that would lead him to his special and general theories of relativity. In 1905, at the age of 26, Albert Einstein would essentially abolish science's ideas of space and time. In his special theory of relativity, he proclaimed the speed of light is constant, independent of who and where the measurement was taking place. Not so for space and time. A piece of space's measurable dimensions are dependent on the frame of reference of the person doing the measurement. The same is true for time. This meant that space and time are relative and the speed of light constant. Applying special relativity to energy, Einstein came up with his famous equation E equals mc squared. In short, a tiny bit of matter contains a huge amount of energy, a fact borne out by the atomic bomb. Ten years later, he transcended Newtonian theory of gravity by including it in the more sweeping theory known as the general theory of relativity. In it, he was able to explain why all objects fell at the same rate. He was able to do this by showing that objects themselves curved space. Independent experiments in 1919 demonstrated that the sun did indeed bend light and thus confirmed his theory. In the process, Albert Einstein became a world celebrity. In 1922, he won the Nobel Prize for Physics. From then on, his theoretical work in physics focused on attempts to reconcile relativity with quantum mechanics. A reconciliation still elusive in the early part of the 21st century. But with the rise of Nazi Germany in the 1930s, Einstein's celebrity forced him into the political arena. He threw his considerable reputation into America's war effort by writing a letter to President Roosevelt, urging the United States to pursue atomic bomb research. As a result of Einstein's influence, 
Franklin Delano Roosevelt put America on the fast track to developing an atomic bomb. After seeing the destruction of the atomic bomb, Einstein led a coalition of scientists who argued for an international agency to control nuclear weapons. Unless such an agency was created, a nuclear arms race between America and other countries would occur. That's just what happened. Albert Einstein lived long enough to see his prophecy come true. An arms race between the United States and the Soviet Union. He died in 1955.